Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for watching our VN TV show today. Uh, as a Vietnamese American, I always fascinated by people that gave up their entire life to take care of those in need, especially people that who come from different backgrounds and nationality, devoted their entire life and unconditional love to the unfortunate ones. I have the privilege today to introduce to our guest, Chen Lin, a lifesaver, an angel mm -hmm. to the oh, kid who born beyond poverty mm. and un unfortunate circumstances in Vietnam. Yes. Please welcome to our show. Hey, thank, thank you for you. joining us today, Jen. Thank we you. We want to give you the platform to properly introduce yourself to our audience. Please, Great. If you may. Th yeah, thank you for the opportunity. And first, let me say, Chuk Mun Nam Moi. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy Chuk New Year to you. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Chuk Mun Nam Moi. Chuk Mun Nam Moi. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Um, I've been very fortunate and um, people say that I do really good things by helping the kids in Vietnam but I have to tell you it comes around full circle mm -hmm. and just fills my heart as much as myself my wife and my friends are doing for Vietnam those kids are doing a tremendous amount for us uh, the mm -hmm. short story is right around 2007 mm -hmm. I had finalized a divorce mm -hmm. and I left my financial planning planning practice of MetLife mm -hmm. and I was oh, pretty much free. I used to wow. work for MetLife oh, okay. as a financial planner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so have you ever wanted that opportunity to just kind of start over? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we all do at times. Right? Yes. Right. yes. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one of those chances. <laughs> yes. and it was in 2007 uh -huh. so I was unencumbered and um, I had planned a trip to Asia. Mm -hmm. So I went to Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam mm -hmm. And in Vietnam, I had this extraordinary experience that mm. is very difficult for me to explain, mm -hmm. almost like an awakening uh -huh. of my soul. Yeah. And I met some extraordinary people. I was invited into their homes for meals. Mm -hmm. um, I ate the food. I rode the motorbikes. Mm -hmm. I was in the villages donating uh, goods. And, mm -hmm. and it was kind of a vacation with a purpose. Yeah. And after that, I was just so touched that I wanted to go back to the country and do some volunteer work. Mm -hmm. And my plan was to go for just three months. Mm -hmm. So I found an organization in Da Nang, mm -hmm. and I went and I started to do the volunteer work, and I realized that I really loved it there. Mm -hmm. So I talked to the owner of the nonprofit, and I said, if you'll cover my expenses, I will run your organization mm -hmm. for you. I'll be the operations manager, I'll do the fundraising. And he said, yes. So I lived on three hundred dollars a month in <laughs> Vietnam for two years, and it wasn't and you a were problem. Happy as I was you super were happy. happy. As clam. Drove around on my motorbike, <laughs> learned a little Vietnamese, and uh, got to work with some extraordinary orphans and disabled mm -hmm. kids. Wow! Yeah, wow. and a lot of the people I worked with were other were Westerners from around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Australians, Europeans, North American. We had people from Korea, Singapore, so pretty much everybody came in and yeah. they were, um, it was a vacation with a purpose for them. Mm -hmm. So fast forward from 2000, that was 2007, 2008, mm -hmm. I come back to America in 2010 uh -huh. and I was doing a program with Landmark Worldwide. Yes. And this particular class is called Self-Expression and Leadership Program. Mm -hmm. And the premise is you create a project and you put the project out into the world to yes, do some yeah, good. Definitely. And it could mm -hmm. be something small mm -hmm. like raising money for blankets mm -hmm. for homeless mm -hmm. people. Yes. It doesn't have mm -hmm. to be global. Yeah. Uh, but I chose to open a foster home mm -hmm. in wow. Vietnam wow. because I was so connected and wow. very small like project. Very small. Yeah. 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 And I said, look, I'm going to collaborate with an American friend of mine who lives in Huntington Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, he founded Giving It Back to Kids mm -hmm. about 10 years earlier with his wife, Dorothea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said I was going to partner with them and open my own foster home mm -hmm. and Aww. call it Mary's House. Nice. You know that I, I, I do psychology and my focus is in foster kids. Oh, I uh -huh. didn't know that. Yes, that's in my you. goal because I think that uh, the system for foster kids need to be improved. Totally. Because as you throw them out of the world after the foster time, they have, they don't know what to do. That's right. They lost. That's right. So that's where we really need to focus our funding on to really help them to become a better human being after all this unfortunate moving yes. event that in their life. They never have a stable life. Right. How can you ask them to be a good human being, throw them out of the world, not knowing what stable means? Right. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yes. 
And, and mm -hmm. the kids in our home, we have 16 girls, uh -huh. mm -hmm. ages between 8 and 17, mm -hmm. and they've got all different histories. Mm -hmm. Some of them have a parent, but maybe the parent is mentally disabled, mm -hmm. and maybe the, the child was living with a grandparent who now can't care for the child. Mm -hmm. So many, many different heartbreaking stories. How do you select these children? To, um, how, how, what's the process? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I'm sure there's tons of children who could use your help. Right. Right. Countless. We have fortunately giving it back to kids has a great relationship with the Vietnamese government and mm -hmm. local authorities. Okay. And because that organization has been around for now 15 years, mm -hmm. they're really they've got a great reputation. Oh, so we often hear of kids in need through the government. Mm -hmm. And then we send out somebody from our team to go to the house and do mm -hmm. a, like a site survey to mm -hmm. make sure that the child, you know, can adapt to foster home mm -hmm. living. Um, and would be a good fit for the house. That's great, because yeah. I know um, sometimes it can be difficulties with the government, but it seems like you have full support of them. Yes, very there. much that's, so. That's very important. That, yeah. That's very, very, actually very, very good, yeah. because yeah. without the support from the government, you're gonna have a hard time that's to correct. even exactly. make that possible. And you know what, when you, you have a will, there are, there are ways to right. make it work. Yep. You know, I read through your organization and, and it touched me because you're not even Vietnamese. Right. And then you actually <laughs> in our country making a difference. Mm -hmm. And must make us feel like we haven't done anything at all. <laughs> so <laughs> make me really <laughs> want to be <laughs> mad on myself, every avalanche yes. after myself after this. But there was a quote that you said. I love quote. And, and, and every time when you write down something, it really means something, mm -hmm. right? So there a quote, and I want you to really share with me the feeling when you wrote that quote. For me, mm -hmm. I came from poverty myself. Okay. I grew up teenager from one year when I was born until 16, seeing my mom working seven days a week supporting wow. 10 kids. Yeah. So 10 I know kids. what it's like, 10 kids, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. So you said, yeah. at this point, their hope for a future beyond poverty is relatively non-existent. Mm -hmm. Share with me your emotion when you see all that poverty and, and how they live in $300 per day for everybody else, insane. But you know, I'm Buddhism. Yeah. Yeah. Per yeah. month. <laughs> That's yeah. I even yeah. think yeah. I had it for day. Right? Literally, <laughs> it's per month. Yeah. So, so yeah. b being Buddhist myself, mm -hmm. we think about minimal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to share with kids nowadays in America. It's all about what they want, not right. what they need. Yeah. So please uh, um, share with me the feeling when you see that poverty and yeah. that they have no future. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, you know, just like American kids, I think, that grow up in poverty, yeah. you, you can't think outside of your current circumstances. Mm -hmm. And for the kids in Vietnam, uh, you know, they, they grow up in poverty, mm -hmm. their parents are impoverished and, and probably haven't even finished high school, yeah. and their parents the same, mm -hmm. and, and they're in kind of, kind of like a little box. Mm -hmm. sure. um, and what we aim to do with Mary's House and the entire organization is show kids that there's a whole new life available for them. And if they study and mm -hmm. they put the work in yep. and that they're good people, mm -hmm. they have a whole new blank canvas sure. to work from. Like the sky's the limit yeah, for them. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's we, beautiful. we get the kids through high school in Mary's House. They all, all go to school. We mm -hmm. pay for tutoring for them. Mm -hmm. So they have all sorts of math and physics and history and English tutors. Mm -hmm. And I even see you have dance class and yes. piano oh, class. Yeah, yeah. 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 I get mean, to have dance classes. Have classes. Normal life. Yes, yeah. definitely. You know, and experience other things because maybe they don't want to go to college. Maybe they want to be, you yeah, know. Yeah, this is not normal or, for them. This is luxury. Right. You provide them something that they never imagined uh, imagine in their life that yep. they could have. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a couple kids graduate from Mary's house already, mm -hmm. and they've completed university. Awesome. Wow. So we uh, you we thank have you. In contact with all your kids. Yeah, we, yeah. we have another yeah. campus within the big nonprofit, yeah. and it's across town uh, um, near the other, the big C, and if you know Da Nang. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got a women's dorm and a men's dorm, mm. and those kids go to university, and we find sponsors for them. Wow. And every time myself, my wife, my mother-in-law goes to visit, mm -hmm. we go we go to both campuses to make sure oh, that the yeah. kids know that we've got our eyes on them and we believe in them. Yeah. And so share with me the name of your school, Mary House. Mm. It's so easy to remember and it, it helped me because English is my second language. Oh. So Mary House, You're welcome. There go. I, I remember it right away. So yes. please. Yeah, yeah, I have, was very close with my grandmother, mm -hmm. whose name is Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, she passed away about 15 years ago. 
But she always inspired me to travel. She <laughs> would take me, I grew up in Connecticut, so oh, we'd okay. go on the bus and we'd go to Pennsylvania or it's New York. There. It's gorgeous, gorgeous there. Yeah. yeah. And gorgeous. my grandmother was kind of a wanderlust type Aww. of person. You know, she just I love her already. Yeah. 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 She seems great. like an amazing woman. <laughs> really great. <laughs> so when I thought about starting the house, I, I needed a name. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't remember kind of how I landed on it, but as soon as I said Mary's oh. house yeah, after, after grandma, it yeah, it just stayed yeah. with you and that emotional touch of your right. grandmother. And you had right. mentioned yeah. previously, when you went to Vietnam initially, you felt a special connection. Yeah. Right? As though, like, you said mentioned, you don't believe in reincarnation, but somehow being there, that maybe, right? Yeah. Maybe. Well, I didn't believe in reincarnation, mm -hmm. but yeah. I do now. now. And yes. I really believe, because it's inexplicable, yeah. that there's some connection, sure. some past life that I have to Vietnam, mm -hmm. the culture, the country. Mm -hmm. um, I've read a lot of books about Vietnamese history and culture. Yeah. And when I arrive in Vietnam, people treat me like a sister. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like there's no American Vietnamese. It's like we're all one. Mm -hmm. uh, so but it's also, it's, let me add in it, that it's your soul too. Yes. Mm -hmm. You vibrate a good frequency, right? Well, thank definitely. You. Yes. So yeah. it, it, people are receptive mm -hmm. to that, obviously. Mm -hmm. If you're vibrating with low and low frequency, you're like, yeah, stay away from this one. Right, <laughs> right. But if you're vibrating a joyful, positive energy, people are very attracted to that. Yeah, so but I, you know, you know we, we sit in here, we cannot not mention your partner, Lawrence, because mm -hmm. we talk about support. Yes. Everything that we do without support, mm -hmm. it can never happen. That's right. So I really want to thank her for that, even though she's not here today. But without Lawrence, I think we will not have a merry house that running so smoothly and mm -hmm. be able to make the world better in Vietnam, especially Da Nang. Yeah, you're 100% yes. right. Mm -hmm. She came out with me the, uh, the year we opened the foster mm -hmm. home. She came out. And uh, within three days, she was driving her own motorbike around <laughs> the Nang and just fell in love with Vietnam as yeah, much as I did. Awesome. So we're both pretty blessed to, to love that country together. <laughs> I, I, a million thanks to you. My heartfelt thank you to everything that you do for the kids and, and for being here today. I am a person that very sentimental. So I love quality time, even though it's only 15 minutes. Mm. But I feel like I know you more than anybody that I met that working with for many years ago. I read everything about oh, you, well, about your you partner. And, um, you know, as I learned, you, you're so much amazing in person as well. And, and, and thank you. Um, thank you again for watching our VNTV show today. Um, I want to make sure people remember that no matter where you come from, um, to be able to help others and make a little change in the world is the best thing you can do. Mm -hmm. um, and be safe and please take care of each other. Have a great day. Thank you so much, VNTV. Thank you. Thank you, for thank you very much. Thank you.